the formal travel show my name is flight captain Atola Rosario signing in what's up so today we go to Medina Palms where we profile a different experience a different hotelier experience where they give you your own personal space personal space in the forms of not hotel rooms but villas apartments and penthouses three historic penthouses to be precise follow us and let's see what it's all about
just one more travel show. What's up? Hi, this is Flight Captain Achola Rosario signing in, and I am with. Please introduce yourself. I am Max, Max Kelly. I'm the director and general manager of the Palms here in Botswana. Yeah, lovely place. Tell me about this building. Like, how old is it? Like, you know, about the architecture. This was built um, uh, seven years ago is when we opened. Um, it's inspired on Arab architecture. Mm. It's very Middle Eastern, but the whole coast of East Africa, as you know, has a strong Arab influence from the past. Yeah. And so we, 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 we targeted that sort of um, architecture, and, and, uh, and this is what's come up. Yeah, I noticed a mix of like, sort of Casablanca architecture along with uh, you know, the clean lenses, the Swahili. Painted rafters, white, yeah, that's exactly. Yeah. It's it's actually a combination of Arab and Swahili. Yeah. It's very coastal. Um, the, all the, the whitewashed wood, um, Swahili furniture. Um, so it blends in with with, with the place. And the so this, is this an old building that you modernized or a new building? This is an absolutely new building. All right. And yet it looks so like it's already blended with yeah. the environment of garden is amazing. Yes, we didn't touch the garden. The garden was the original plants. We left as many of them as we could. That's why. Um, there's a lot of green and a lot of trees. And, and um, rare buds. I've spotted quite a few rare buds. Like yes. Last night I was out by the infinity pool and I swear, what's this night bud? It has a really weird, like, melodic sound. Whoa, what's that? <laughs> I wouldn't know which one. <laughs> but anyway, for all you Twitters, what are they called? Twins? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, phone name and tell us what it is or leave your comments down in the bottom. So how many, um, uh, what do you call these, penthouses? Uh, um, there's a total of 50 units. Yeah. And there's 15 penthouses, 22 two-bedroom apartments, and we have 11 villas. The villas are much bigger than three bedrooms. Um, perfect for families. Watam is a great destination for families. There's a lot to do. It's very peaceful. Um, we are close to Abuja Sokoke Forest, which is a national park, and we decree. You really don't need to leave Watam. It's, uh, you could spend a month here and do something different every single day. And I noticed this place is so self-contained. I've noticed you have quite a few families here, but you don't hear anything. Yes. You just see like the odd kid pop out, and you're like, oh, there's someone. <laughs> And then, yeah, so, I mean, how, is it something that you encourage, like, silence, or can someone come in and pop up and have a party once in a while? Um, no, we have parties, of course, uh, people come here to relax and to enjoy, and they don't want to be sort of working up in the middle of the night with loud music or so on. Mm. But this is ideal for families, because yeah. all the units are so big, that's why you don't see anyone. Yeah. Because the units are very big, the smallest is 100 square meters, the biggest is 1,000 square meters. So you'll find that people spend a lot of time in their units because more than half of them have their own plunge pools. So they've got a plunge pool area, a relaxation area. Wait, 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 wait. Own plunge private pool in your own penthouse complex. Exactly. Let that sink in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because when I came in, I did hear the pool pump. I was like, okay, where's the pool? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so how much does this set you back? Like for like the two bedroom um, apartment that I'm in, how much is that on average? Uh, of course, it depends on the season. It depends on lots of things, but you can average it around 20, 20, between 20 and 24,000 shillings a night. Oh. Uh, but that, remember, two bedrooms sleeps four people. Yes. So it's very, very affordable. Yeah. It, it is very affordable. Six thousand. Six thousand shillings each. Six thousand shillings each. No, uh, I think it's a good price. Yeah, very um, much so. It's, it's value and, for money. And uh, so you bring in your own food. You can cook, or you have a restaurant. You have a choice. Yeah. So you can either eat at the restaurant, which, by the way, I think is very, very good. I'm Italian. Ah, so, right. So I put yeah, a lot yeah. of. <laughs> put a lot of passion in the selection of our ingredients and our menus. Um, it's not all Italian, of course. It's a combination of international, intercontinental and Italian. Like seafood? A lot of seafood. But you know, Mediterranean Italian food is very rich in seafood. Yeah, exactly. Um, because Italy is in the middle of the Mediterranean. Yeah. It's a peninsula. 
surrounded by water. Exactly. So a lot of Italian food has seafood in it from crabs, lobster, mm -hmm. prawns. I mean, that's for me why is uh, Italian and Japanese food is by passion because it's purely seafood. I'm a seafood junkie. And uh, actually, stay tuned because hopefully today we're going to track down some beachside roasted seafood, you know, like only with like chili, a bit of garlic rubbed on it, lemon. And a glass of white wine. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> a nice yeah. shot of cold, cold beer. Yeah. We're very strong on the, on the domestic East African market. Uh, this is a destination which a lot of uh, Kenyans, Ugandans, Tanzanians really appreciate. It's not far. You don't need to travel to uh, Zanzibar or to Mauritius or to the Seychelles. We've got beautiful beaches, we've got beautiful forests. Yeah, I mean, um, I heard you had a whole group contingent of uh, Nairobi boys coming in PX as well. The last week or something. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, that happens a lot. So that's our strongest market, and, and that's where we're focusing on. And I believe. That is the future, at least in this during this period here in particular. Yeah. You don't need to travel. You don't need to travel far. You can even drive. Um, so um, you know, come and explore your own your own your backyards. Yeah, <laughs> this is so amazing, back here. So for the formal travel show, signing out. This is myself, flight captain at Cholo Rosario Boy, and Mr. Max Chelly. Cool. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
or in penthouses and either stay there or buy them to rent or even just come and stay for a holiday for a week or a couple of days. A lot of people from Nairobi come down to this place. It's absolutely amazing as you saw the experience. Now, it also has a spa, which I didn't get to sample, but oh my God, you guys, please, Max Kelly, please, please, Kelly, uh, help me out here, cause it has amazing stuff. I have the brochure right here. Check it out. It has intuitive herbal oil massages, deep tissue massage, soul of Africa massage. What the hell is that? Amazing. And then you have the coconut cocoon, you have a slimming detox wrap, you have antioxidant rejuvenating facial, I need all of them. So you can see, I showed you uh, there's the plots there, there's still a few left, so hurry up. Um, most of the places have been taken, but they're still available to rent and they're still available for holidays. So uh, to stay at a place like this, mind you, it is not that expensive as I thought. I mean, for example, for the apartment that I had, it was a two-bedroom apartment, which actually sleeps four. It takes 24, it's about 24,000 Kenya shillings, which is about 6,000 each, which is not bad. I mean, think about it, what you spend in a night when you're going out, yeah? You could spend that on an apartment. Now, for the penthouses, one of the penthouses, which is the uh, Medina penthouse, two-bedroom suite, sleeps up to four guests, it has is 34,000 off peak. So 35,000 for an for a penthouse with a pool on top. So you're spending about um, 7,000 each because you're five guests, you can sleep up to five guests, even squeeze in a sixth one if you really want to. And so that's 7,000 each. For three days, that's 21. Ah, what more do you want? Instead of spending that money on room 12 outside, let's go do this amazing experience so medina palms what do i give you hmm drum roll please i give you an eight purely because i haven't experienced all the wonderful stuff you have to offer including the restaurant and uh thanks for the bottle of wine although it was a gacha negro hmm. tis, tis. but <laughs> that's just all i'm gonna say about that uh at the end of the day eight because I would love to come back and experience the full everything. The infinity pool, the kayaking. My camera died when I went kayaking. That's why it ended just like that. <laughs> and um, such is life. So for the formal travel show, my name is Flight Captain Shola Rosario signing out. And don't forget to subscribe. And we shall see you for the next COVID breakout specials. Signing out. Bye. It's gone.